Hi everyone. In this video, we will make a car roll on speed breakers, and also see the effect of suspension system, using SOLIDWORKS 2017. Let's start. Here, I've assembled a very basic car model, on a fixed base. The base has three different speed breakers, of three different dimensions. The car has a simple body, control arms, suspension components, and wheels. Let's go to motion study. Select the basic motion option. Change some setting. Increase the frames per second, geometric accuracy, and 3D contact resolution. Add gravity in negative y direction. Dragging the time key for increased motion time. Add the contact between wheels, car body, and the base. Now, we will add spring to bring the suspension effect. Selecting the edges of two different spring components, to define end-to-end -end distance of the spring. Spring stiffness and free length are main parameters. We will make the stiffness as 15 Newton per mm, and keep free length as defined by model. Similarly, we will add spring at each wheel, since the car has independent suspension system. We are keeping the dampen coefficient as zero, we will check its effects in later part of video. We will add a linear motor now, to keep the car rolling. Select the upper edge of car for motor location. For direction, select the edge of the fixed base. Keeping the speed as 300 mm per second. We will also add linear motor, to the other edge of car, with same parameters. We are doing this for maintaining symmetry of motion. Or we could have applied motor to a central edge of car. Now, we are ready for calculation. This might take some time. Let's see the motion, with reduced playback speed. We see the car bouncing too much on last speed breaker. Let's copy the study, and check some other scenarios. We will add damper effect, to each spring. Change the coefficient of damping to 10 Newton per mm per second. Similarly, adding damping effect for all springs.
click on calculate. This might again take some time. Let's check this one. The bouncing motion has reduced, it is damped. However, we see the rear part bouncing more, due to more sprung weight at rear. Let's check one more scenario. Here, we will increase the spring stiffness of rear springs. Make it 25 newton per mm. Similarly, on other side. Calculate again. Let's check. We see a relatively stable motion of the car. Let's see in a different view. Let's also see from front. Hope this video was interesting. Thank you.